Hey everybody, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Today is Tuesday, August 7th, and we're going to do a very special What Sold video. Today we're going to do a What Sold on Poshmark. I'm going to go through the highlights of our sales on the Poshmark platform for the entire month of July. And I think this is going to be a really great addition to the channel doing these Poshmark videos at least once a month because Poshmark is a whole different world than eBay. They have different buyers, they charge shipping, items go for more money. Sometimes folks over there are looking for the higher higher end or more luxury brands. You can still sell the filler and bread and butter items over there and even then still get more money than you can on eBay. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of the types of brands and items that sell for us on Poshmark and what they sell for since it's entirely a different world than eBay. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys and we're going to take a walk through and I'll be back at the end. So here we are looking at the first item I wanted to show you that sold on Poshmark in the month of July. I just have a handful of items I'm going to show you. July was a slower month for us, especially on Poshmark because of eBay open and not being active for a week. Poshmark really is a platform that you have to be active on every single day to see the sales. If you're not sharing, if you're not listing daily, your sales are definitely going to slow down. And we fully expected that for the week off for eBay Open, but we still did pretty good for the month. And I just picked out some of the better items to show you guys and to give you a good idea of the good brands that sell. Not only that, but like even the bread and butter brands will sell for more money over here on Poshmark. And keep in mind as we go through these, that the buyer pays for the shipping on Poshmark unless you specifically offer them a discount of $1.80 or you can offer free shipping. Uh, only one of these did we send an offer on that had the $1.80 discount. The rest of these were bought outright by the buyers and the full shipping was paid. And Poshmark takes 20% for fees. So like these Cookie Johnson's that we're looking at right here, they would have taken $4 and 60 cents so that leaves us with 1840 and I got these from a thread up box uh, roughly a dollar and some change so we'll just make it 17 after cost of goods to make nice easy math so we profited 17 on these and again they came from a thread up box these shoes these mules came from Goodwill we paid 99 cents for them. They sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So we made 12 minus our cost of goods. We made $11 on this pair of shoes. Here we have an Orvis suede fleece, fourth zip. New with tags. This was a dollar at the Goodwill. And over here, the buyer paid the shipping. So we're looking at $6.20 in fees plus our cost of goods, $7.20. So roughly right around $24, $25 bucks profit on this. Orvis is a brand that I have told you guys before is a definite bolo. Um, I've done well with the men's cargo shorts. Keith has done well with the men's polos. And if it's new with tags and it's $0.99, cents, we will absolutely pick it up every time. Okay, so here's a surprising thing. Abercrombie and Fitch on eBay is pretty much dead. It's oversaturated. Everybody has ran it to the bottom. You can't even get pennies for it over there anymore. I picked these up for 99 cents at the Goodwill and they sold for $29 on Poshmark. Pretty amazing. Buyer paid all of the shipping. So we're looking at 580 in fees plus my cost of goods is 680. We'll round up to seven just for ease of math and say I profited about $22 on a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch. These would not go for that much on eBay. Um, so this is a good example of a brand that can do well over here. Now these were Buttonfly and a really good size, 34, but still I don't think you could ever get $29 for these on eBay, especially if they were paying for shipping. Not your daughter's jeans. These were a size 10, so that's, you know, an average size, not that great. Sold for $24, and they paid all of the shipping. So, 
four dollars and eighty cents for fees plus a 99 cents cost of good right around 580 we'll round it up to six for ease of math and say we made roughly $18 profit on these Not Your Daughter's jeans. Here's another surprising one, just as if not more surprising than the Abercrombie and Finch shorts. These are a size 10 in women's, not a very good size as far as reselling. You know, you guys know I always say go for the plus sizes or the smaller sizes. I mean, for 99 cents with my cost of goods, I'd pick these up. That Goodwill um, in a size 10. These have the nice pockets on the back. They sold for $25 on Poshmark. Less fees is $20. Less cost of goods is $19 profit. Here is a pair of Chico's Fabulously Slimming Capri Jeans. You guys know I always talk about the Fabulously Slimming and the So Slimming line from Chico's. I always pick those up especially when they have weird or wild graphics like this or some kind of cool print. These were 99 cents at the Goodwill. They sold for 17 on Poshmark, which is $3.40 in fees, $4.40 with cost of goods. So we'll round it up to five for ease of math and say we made roughly $12 profit on these Chico's Capris. Here we have a pair of Page Skyline straight sandblasted jeans. These came from a thread up box and typically with the thread up boxes uh, with our cost of goods um, ranges anywhere from like a dollar sixty two to a dollar eighty two depending if I had free shipping on that box sometimes they offer us free shipping um, and sometimes they don't and these were damaged they had like a lot of wear and tear here on the inner thighs um, or the crotch area it's such a gross word but they did have wear and tear in there. Um, I don't remember which box they came out of specifically, so we'll just round up and say they were $2 cost of goods. They sold for $20 on Poshmark, so the fees would have been four, plus our cost of goods is six, $14 profit on these page jeans. Lane Bryant's straight leg high waist jeans, $18 they sold for over here on Poshmark. Our cost of goods was 99 cents at the Goodwill. The dollar 80 plus a dollar 80 is 3.90 plus our cost of goods. We'll round up to five. 13 dollar profit on these. Lane Bryant is a bolo, guys. It is a really good brand for women's plus size clothing. Uh, another one is Torrid. If you see Torrid or Lane Bryant plus size clothing, especially at a cost of goods for two bucks or less, do pick them up. And lastly, we have a pair of JLo. You guys know that I'm always showing you in the haul videos the JLo jeans that I find. JLo is my favorite bread and butter filler uh, brand for jeans. I can't keep them in the eBay store. I can't keep them on Poshmark. They fly out the door. I wouldn't pay more than 99 cents for them, but I do find them for 99 cents all the time. So I grab them when I see them. They're definite ball low if you can get your cost of goods low enough. This was the first pair of JLo I had ever seen in plus size. So I was pretty excited about that. Usually I find them in the smaller sizes. This was a size 16 W, 16 women's, and that is a plus size for those of you that aren't familiar. The W after the numbers is stands for women's and it means it's a plus size, more curvy. Um, so we paid 99 cents for these. They're definite bolo. I love JLo jeans. They sold for $27 here on Poshmark. And the fees would have been $5.40. And we paid 99 cents. So we're going to round up to 7 for ease of math and say I profited $20 on these JLo jeans. That is out of this world. I flip JLo jeans on eBay all the time for $20 to $22 free shipping. Here on Poshmark, I was able to get $27. Now, give, give, keep in mind that these were a plus size and that probably helped. Them being plus size probably helped drive up the price and help me get that higher price that I wanted. But what I profited on these jeans on Poshmark, 20 bucks, 
is what I would have listed them for, give or take, probably like 22 on eBay with free shipping. So this is why I love Poshmark. It does take a little bit more work than eBay. You do have to spend a little more time on it. But the amount of money you can make over here because people pay more for these items and they're paying the shipping, it's ridiculous. You can profit on one pair of jeans, what you would sell them for, free shipping on eBay. I do need to make one amendum. I did just look down at my notes. We did offer a shipping discount on these. I believe they were listed at like 20 and we offered 17. Um, so we did offer a dollar 80 shipping discount on these and that would have brought the profit down. So we'll redo that real quick. It would have been 340 in fees plus our cost of goods would have been 440. And the shipping discount would have brought it up to 540, 640, give or take. So we'll say seven. So we profited like $10 on these by offering the shipping discount. We lowered our profit a little bit. But even $10 is good. Um, I'm still really excited about the <laughs> My favorite bread and butter mall brand or whatever you want to call them profited $20, which was more than the page and the not your daughter's jeans and things that you expect to profit more on. Um, but again, it's probably because they're plus size. So I'll definitely always be picking up JLo and the plus size from now on moving forward. Um, but this just kind of gives you an idea of what you can do on Poshmark. You can list items at crazy prices and people will pay them. Plus they're paying shipping, so you can profit a lot more. So I think in the, in the long run, if you have the time to spend on Posh, you should be because it's really worth it. It really does pay you out in the end. So that's the highlights of our Poshmark sales for the month of July. Let me know down in the comments below how your Poshmark sales are going, if you had anything exciting sale over there in the last couple weeks. If you're not on Poshmark already, what are you waiting for? You guys hear me all the time talk about Poshmark, the amount of money you can make over there, the things that will move. And not only that, it's a different stream of income and I'm always saying diversify diversify you can't put all your eggs in one basket you should absolutely be cross posting and on you know more than eBay you should be on other platforms so if you're not on Poshmark already in the description box down below I'm gonna put our Poshmark code if you sign up to sell on Poshmark please use our code when you sign up it will give you a $5 credit and it will give us a $5 credit and we both win and we get a little something for free for you guys signing up and if you're new to Poshmark and you need um, more tips tricks hints how to sell on Poshmark feel free to search the channel I have a ton of info on Poshmark here I'll try to link a couple videos to pop up here and here at the end for you guys to help you out and as I mentioned last week at the beginning of the plush that sold on eBay, this is going to be an entirely new series on the channel. Once a week, I'm going to do a what sold video that's going to be different from the usual what sold on eBay Monday video. It's going to focus either on one type of item, like plush that sold on eBay, and once a month I'll be doing what sold on Poshmark. So if you guys have any suggestions, anything you would like to see, focused on or be the central focus of a what sold video let me know down in the comments below if you want to see jeans that sold if you want to see ties that sold if you want to see men's shirts that sold anything that you would like to see an entire video about let me know down below and I will do my best to accommodate everybody these videos are going to be coming out once a week um, so keep your suggestions coming um, and I will do my best to get out uh, videos up that everyone is interested in with items that y'all are interested in seeing. And then I will continue the regular what sold on eBay videos every Monday. Smash the like button before you leave, guys. It does help the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. Link is in the description box. Until next time, guys. Go be productive, go make some money, and have a good night.